So guys, today we are talking phones and we are gonna discuss why this may be the difference between you being broke or a millionaire. So look, I love this thing. This thing is incredible. Technology, social media is literally the reason I'm here today, honestly. Uh, it's the reason there are so many millionaires, billionaires, that's the reason like, at this point, I think no one has a fucking excuse for their life um, because technology and social media transcends gender, age, uh, ethnicity, like where you live, like your social, socioeconomic status, like it transcends all, all that bullshit. Um, but look, here's the thing. Some of you guys are using this thing to get rich and some of you guys are broke because of this thing. Now, a big piece of advice, especially in the world of marketing, social media marketing, stuff like that is um, you need to be highly engaged with your audience. You need to be responding to every DM, responding to every comment, etc., etc. And here's the thing. I, I agree with that to a certain extent, because here's the thing, guys, people's main focus nowadays, uh, people's main issue nowadays is focus and lack of focus. You all heard the saying, starve, uh, starve your distractions, feed your focus. The thing is, you can't fucking feed your focus if you've, if you've got all these distractions in front of you. And guess what, for most people, is the number one biggest distraction? This thing, okay? I'll be honest, every single day, around uh, 45 minutes an hour, and I've, I've discussed this before, before I go to bed, up until uh, 10 o'clock the next day, my phone's on airplane mode. And then from 10 o'clock to, you know, uh, before I go to bed, in, those, in between those, there are periods where my phone's on airplane mode for an hour and a half, two hours between work blocks. Because here's the thing, every single time I'm on this, it's to make money. Every single time I'm on this, it's to respond to an actual important email, to respond to an actually important WhatsApp, you know, to respond to, uh, to put out an Instagram story, right? To document my journey so people know that like, I'm not full of shit, right? And they can stay up to my journey and they're getting engaged with my content, right? Or it's to, um, like to do a whole series of things, which at the end of the day are to improve the quality of my life. But a lot of you guys are on this thing and you're just scrolling through, like mindlessly scrolling through Instagram or you're, you're, you're playing fucking video games on this thing or you're just, you're just doing this, you're watching Netflix on here, like just the stupidest shit. And guys, here's the thing, not everything in this world is about making money, okay? So when I say I'm on here just to make money, don't get it the wrong way. You know, because here's the thing, I'm, you know, I'm on here to talk to my mom. I'm on here to reconnect, like reconnect with one of my old friends. You know, I'm on here to, you know, I'm, I'm on here on pocket to look at like the latest news within my, within my niche. Um, I'm on here to do a whole myriad of things, but all these things are improving my life. As I said, where a lot of other people, myself included, okay, myself included, Dude, I used to mindlessly scroll through Instagram with this, like, and I was getting nothing out of it. Okay, so look, when you when you first start, you have more time than you do opportunity, right? And then it gets to a point, it gets to a tipping point where you have more opportunity than you do time. When you first start, literally used to be on my to-do like a year ago, a year and a half ago. I used to, I would not go to bed before I, I DM'd 20 people whether that was a high level uh, person, uh, DM'd or emailed 20 people, whether that was a high level uh, person here in London that I wanted to network and connect with, whether that was someone you know, on a similar level to me that I wanted to connect with, um, whether that was a company that I wanted to associate myself with and maybe do some marketing for, I would not let myself go to bed before I did that because th for me that was an uh, opportunity to create chances, opportunities to create exposure. But now you get to a certain point where like, you genuinely have more opportunity than you do time. It's not a lack of opportunity, it's a lack of, like, it's not a lack of opportunity, it's just you can't execute on those opportunities because you're constantly fucking getting distracted. Because it, like, I want you to look at it. Does Elon Musk answer his DM? Does Elon Musk answer his fucking emails? Does uh, Jeff Bezos, like, does he reply to, like, tweets? No. Look, I understand you guys aren't at that level, but at a certain point, you need to start acting like you're that person. If you want to be that fucking person, you have to start acting like it, okay? And I used to feel, guys, I'll be honest, I used to feel so, so bad when I would have respond to someone's WhatsApp or a DM. And here's the thing, I, at this point, I still do. I still respond to 95% of DMs, WhatsApps, emails. I just, I just respond three days later, a week later, 10 days later. 
when I've designated some time in order to do that. But day to day, you need to understand if there is this pot of gold, you know, if there's 10 million over here, if there is changing the fucking world over here, if there's be, like spiritually being fulfilled, if that's a pot of gold and you're on this trajectory and there's so many people trying to knock you off this trajectory, like you'll never get there. Like you will never get there if you keep letting people knock you like left and right, right? So you need to fucking protect your time like it is nobody's business, okay? And once again, that doesn't mean that everything needs to be about money or business. Protect your time so you have more time to see your mom. Protect your time so you can go and do something nice with your girlfriend. Protect your time so you can read a fucking book, that book that you've always wanted to read. You need to protect your time to do the things that you want most in life. And I'll be honest, like, that's been my biggest struggle these last two, three months. It's like, I've never been busier in my life and that is not a cool thing to say. Busy is not cool, guys. Busy is a achiever's way of saying I don't have things in control. And you know, my goal like these last three weeks of this year is to finally get things in control and you know, be like just, just have everything under wraps, you know, be able to spend time with the people I want to spend time with. Or if I want to have 12 hour work days, be able to do it and it's not an issue, right? And that's not busy to me, that's just obsessed, which I am, like I, <laughs> admittedly I am with what I do. Um, so as I said, for a lot of you guys, you're using this thing and this thing is distracting you and this thing, this thing is the reason you're not a millionaire. Whereas if you use it correctly, this thing will make you a multimillionaire, right? Because of the opportunity that comes from this. But please just don't listen to all these, all these people trying to tell you like you should constantly stay connected and blah, blah. No, you should be able to get in a deep flow in a, in a work state where you can achieve the pot of gold. And I'm telling you, you can't achieve the pot of gold if every five minutes you're responding to someone's text or you're opening up your friend's Snapchat. Okay, so this thing is your best friend or your worst enemy and you fucking decide what it is, okay? So that's a little rant over. Um, hope you guys have been enjoying the content. I'm gonna be posting a lot more recently or a lot more. Just figured out the apartment, figured out my accountant, cleaning up my books for the end of the year uh, for my tax return, which is also a pain in the ass. Um, and uh, Furo Systems campaign literally launched today. Uh, so. You know, as I said, the last three weeks, I'm just gonna be pouring a lot more focus into my personal brand. We're doing lives twice a week, possibly three times a week, uh, but usually twice, but these aren't your regular Q and A lives. These are 45, 60 minute, literally like free lessons, right? With some Q and A at the end as well. So if you aren't subscribed or you don't, you haven't hit that bell, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. You're missing out on the party, but I'm rambling at this point. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you tomorrow.